good morning, everyone, and thanks, Professor Teresa, for the introduction. Also, Ms. Professor um, Dr. Gao for a very interesting, very, very interesting presentation about a specific aspect of Ming Dynasty tea culture. I am also going to talk about Ming Dynasty and, in particular, about uh, uh, one of the first collectania or collection of books uh, that was made in this period. As many in this hall might know. Uh, the Ming Dynasty was a very crucial moment for the history of tea. It was a time when many changes took place in the way tea was manufactured and consumed, changes which are still part of the way tea is commonly consumed today, such as the, the teapots uh, made with the Yixing clay. Besides this, there was a, an unprecedented amount of new essays and tea written in this period. More than a half of all the essays and tea written from the tea classic by Louis to the end of the imperial period were actually produced in the last century of the Ming. In the, in the Ming dynasty, we also have the first Cong Shu or uh, collectania or collection of writings dedicated to tea, which today is commonly known, this text, with the name uh, Cha Shu Quanji, that is, complete collection of essays and tea. This collection occupies a very important position in the history of tea culture, not only because it is the first and only work of this genre produced in the imperial period, but also because it is the first one to group all the main essays on tea produced in the Tang, Sung, and Ming dynasties under the label Cha Shu, tea essays or tea writings, which is still used today as a general term for tea literature. I have already has a um, so the editor and the publisher today I will discuss in, I will focus on the background and the genesis of this uh, collection of writings and starting from of course the the editor. So the publisher and editor of the Chashu Chuanji was Yu Zheng, a native of a Huanshan village in Nanchan, Jiangxi province, and you might see Nanchan here on the map, uh, just on the right, in the upper and the left side of the big red circle. Um, Eugene obtained the Jinsa degree at the Imperial Literary Examination in, in 1595 and served as a, um, a director of uh, the Bureau of Military Personnel in at Nanjing for some time until 1611 when he became prefect of Fuzhou. Some years later, he was right to the position of General Surveillant of Fujian, so he could still maintain his residence in the city of uh, Fuzhou. Fuzhou, the capital of uh, the Fujian province in the late Ming Dynasty was a growing cultural center trying to pair with the main cities of the Jianang area such as Nanjing, Suzhou and Hangzhou that were the real center of culture and fashion for any kind of literary material production and consumption. Being the local prefect, one of the highest authorities in the city, and having himself a deep interest in books, Eugen naturally became a pole for the literary circles of Fuzhou and promoted many publishing activities. In 1612, he headed the compilation of the Yunfu District Gazetteer and in 1613 of the Fuzhou Prefecture Gazetteers, which in which, in this project, the most prominent members of the Fuzhou literary elite took part. So, we have first to make clear one point, that the Cha Shu Chuanji uh, was one also the, the text that uh, um, Yu Zhen published when he was uh, serving as a prefect in Fuzhou, and actually the original title of, of uh, Yu Zhen's collectania was simply Cha Shu and Tea. The title Cha Shu Chuanji, the complete collection of Essays and Tea, was, which is the one with, by, now, by which we commonly call uh, this collection today, was first given in the catalog Zheng Ding Cong Shu Ju Ya, that is the revised summary of collectanias that was published in 1914. Today, there are two different extant editions of Cha Shu Chuanji one printed in 1612 and one in 1613. Copies of these two editions 
are collected at the cabinet library, Naikaku Bunko, in Tokyo, and then known respectively as uh, Japan and the Iban. Both editions of the Tashu Chuenji at the Naikaku Bunko have been published as photostatic, photostatic facsimile by the Japanese scholar Nunome Chofu in 1987. The two editions um, differ in their structure and number of texts and paratextual elements included. Here we can see the indexes of the two editions, but maybe we should look at uh, the content of these two versions uh, watching at this table. So, okay, so here we can see the content of the two different editions of the Chashu Chuenji, the one in yellow pink uh, is uh, the one of the 1612, and the one in green is one of the 1613. So the 1612 edition is divided in four sections, named with the characters of the first verse of the classic of the changes. So Yuan, Han, Li, Zhen. The first section contains 17 works by various authors. The first section includes the Cha Jing by Lu Yu, and five texts of the Song Dynasty. Why the second one includes two essays of the Tang Dynasty, two of the Song, and four of the Ming period. The third section contains two Ming essays, while the last section contains two works edited by Yu Zheng. One of these two works is the Cha Ji, is a collection of poems and prose writings and tea. The other one is the Pen Cha Tu Ji, collection on the painting preparing tea that is a compilation of poems and commemorative essays originally mounted in sequence in the on the scroll after the painting attributed to Tang Ying, owned by Yu Zhang, entitled Preparing Tea. Uh, according to Yu Zhang and his friend, this painting was representing the sage, the tea sage Lu Yu preparing the beverage. However, in the 1612 edition, this work um, um, is just the only quoted in the index, but there is no text inside the, collect the, the collectania. The second, uh, so you see that you have only four sections uh, in, the, in the yellow pink uh, column. The second edition of Chasu Chuanji was printed in 1613, and it can be considered a kind of expanded version of the former one. Um, sorry, what is it? Okay. An expanded one, um, and it is divided in five sections, uh, which are named after the five Confucian constant virtues that are Ren, Yi, Li, Zhi, and Xin. The text included in the first uh, three sections are most substantially identical to those in the former edition and are actually printed with the same woodblocks. The fourth adjunct section contains eight texts by Ming authors from the late 16th and early 17th century. Here we have a longer version of the Cha Ji, the collection by um, Yu Zhen, and also we have the real, the, we really have the text of the, cha, the Pentu Cha Ji, and also a xylographic reproduction of the painting entitled Tasting Tea, owned by Yu Zhen. The two versions also differ for the material included in the front matter. Uh, the, so uh, in the, the edition of the 1612, we have only one single preface by Xie Zhao Zhe, dated 1612. Xie was a very famous scholar, poet, traveler, and collector, native of Changle in the, uh, in the southeast of Fuzhou. He obtained his Jinshu degree in 1592, and in the course of his long official career, had different positions at the capital and in the provinces. Between 1610 and 1614, while serving as the director of Bureau of the Water Gaze in the Ministry of Works in Beijing, he took part in the compilation of the above mentioned gazetteers edited by Yu Zhang. Xie is remembered mainly as the author of the encyclopedic compilation Wu Zha Zhu, the five assorted offerings, which also contains a section, a very long section about tea. Uh, the second 
the edition of the Cha Shu um, contains three prefaces. The first is uh, identical to the one uh, of the first edition. The second one is by Zhou Zhifu, and it is also dated 1612. Zhou was a native of Macheng in the Huguang province and obtained his Jinshu degree in 1607 and served as a judge in the Fuzhou prefectural government under the direction of Yu Zheng. Like Xie uh, Zhaozhe uh, and other local scholars, he also participated in the compilation of the local gazetteers edited by Yu Zheng. The third preface is the introduction of, by Yu Zheng, dated 1613. Uh, that, that means uh, more than almost two years later compared to the, the other two um, prefaces we just talked about. All the prefaces are printed as facsimile pages in the personal calligraphy of the authors. The Chinese scholars, Zhen Peikai and Zhu Zhezheng, argue that the first edition of the Cha Shu Chuanji at the Naikaku Banku was just a sort of printing draft version, since it includes only one preface and it is, only, and it is the only version, the only known version, which has an index with 17 uh, titles. Nevertheless, we, sh we should observe that all the prefaces in the Collectana explicitly refer to 17 titles or to a comparable number. So here is the introduction by Yu dated 1613, which also referred to more than 10 titles. So you say, let me take the other Okay. So, after I acquired the painting Preparing Tea by Tan Tzu Wei, that was the subject of uh, the courtesy name of uh, Tang Yin, and I had it mounted with jade stone and fine brocade, the talented official and famous scholars of the time, one after another, composed a poem in, of prize, had the luster to eat with paper and ink. Then I was so lucky to become the head of Sansha, this was the name of uh, Fuzhou, where magnificent water springs are everywhere, so refreshing reminiscent of a pure dreamland. No doubt it is a place frequented by the millenary spirit of Lu Yu. So together with the Xu Xingkong, that is the name of a scholar called Xu Po, I made an extensive search of those ancient and modern texts that concern in the discussion of tea and its law. I put more than 10 together and made the Cha Shu. Uh, the prefaces by Xie Zhaozhe and uh, Zhou Zhifu also refer to the same circumstances about the compilation of the collectana and also a comparable number of texts. So here is the, the one by um, Zhou Zhifu that say, yes, no, sorry. I think it was somehow one, <laughs> one, one slide ahead. <laughs> No, here it is. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, since the old man of Mulberry and Ramier, that is a sobriquet of uh, Lu Yi, um, composed his classic, talented person and man of letter quoted it and wrote essays to expound it. At present, there are 17 of them. My prefector, Master Yu Zheng Zhi, that was the, the name of Yu Zheng, freely himself from the burning house and follows smoothly the mysterious winds. This, of course, is a reference to his commitment to Buddhist and uh, Taoist practices. He acquired a scroll of the painting, preparing tea by Tang Zi Wei, and takes it with him wherever he goes. One month after he arrived to, in Fujian, he had the painting carved in stone. He also ordered Xu Xingkong to collect the writings after Hun Jian, it is the name of Lu Yi, such as the Cha Jing and the Shui Ping. He put the texts together, revised them, and gave them the, ten, the, na, the, gave them the title Cha Shu. So also the, um, the preface by Zhou Zhifu has, yeah, has uh, similar circumstances. So Yu Zhenzhe is not very fond of tea, but he is indifferent to fame and, in a, and he is aloof, pure, and genuine properly in harmony with the principles of tea. When he served as the rector in the Ministry of War in Nanjing, he had access to the government repository and spent all the surplus of his income to print books. The histories and the records that he proof read 
and published are free from miswritten character and are stored in the, in the academies. The local people revered him as a god. Now he came to Fuzhou and collected 17 ancient treatises about tea, put them together and made the chashu. Even if uh, Yu Zhezheng is, has no obsession for tea, he nevertheless has a sincere addiction to books. I wouldn't spe spend much time talking about obsession, but it was a very key term in the Ming Dynasty for any kind of uh, cultural uh, activity performed by the, um, the literati that what of the age. P. P. <laughs> um, from um, Yu Zhou's introduction and uh, the, these two prefaces, we can understand some very important aspects of the genesis of. Uh, uh, the Collectania Chaju Chashu Chenji. First, it appears that differently from uh, what has been argued by Zhen Peikai and Zhu Zhen, the 1612 edition was not properly a printing um, uh, draft version. The collection was most probably originally planned with 17 texts, and the preface by Yu Zhen dated um, 1613 also referred to more than 10, that is, more consistent with uh, 17 than 20 to 25. So it is probably, probably that you composed it in the occasion of the first edition, of the first collection of texts, and then add the date uh, in a later time when he published the second larger, larger version containing, in fact, 25 titles. Second, it appears that uh, Yu Zhen was not himself a tea connoisseur and was not even much interested in tea, so I was not a tea enthusiast. And the printing project was mainly driven by his general interest in book and books and printing, and maybe also by the wish to exhibit his possession of the painting attributed to Tang Ying and increase its prominence. Such a possession had a very high cultural and social importance and had to be publicized in some way in order to enhance the status of the owner, of course. The original painting and the stone still where it was engraved, mentioned in the preface, are lost. But we possess the rootblock printed version in the Pentu Chaji at the end of the definitive version of the, the Chashu Chenji. Um, Eugen, in, uh, in his postscript to this uh, collection, stated that the painting was recognized as authentic by many scholars but not all. So it was not so um, assertive uh, in uh, stating the authenticity of this uh, uh, work. Um, so here it is the, uh, no, okay, the, the painting, okay. Uh, the xylographic representation um, is divided in four panels, as you might see that uh, are printed on both sides of two consecutive numbered pages. According to the order of the panels, it is difficult to understand the relation between the two halves. Here you have exactly the order in which the, the two parts of the, pa the, the painting are uh, published in the in the, in the Chashu Chuanji. However, inverting the order of the pages and removing the blank space of the page centerfold, it appears that the lines, the drawing of the rock and the water bank match perfectly. So we have the bridge that is situated at the right, at the big opening of the scroll, and that is followed by a path beside the water that leads to the woods. Unfortunately, it is not possible to define whether the ordering of the panel within the Chashu Chuanji was a result of a mistaken page ordering, numbering, by the carvers of the woodblock, or actually corresponded to the original painted version owned by Yu Zhang. In this case, this case, probably also the original painting was split in two uh, halves. Um, what is striking that if uh, in this corrected um, sequence, the the painting by, uh, in uh, the Chashu Chuanji shows an evident similitude to the painting The Bamboo Stove, attributed to Tang Yin, collected at the Art Institute of uh, Chicago. Um, a simple comparison reveals that, uh, apart from some differences in the overall size and the frame 
uh, and, the, uh, and the proportion and disposition of the background and secondary elements, the two pictures depict exactly the same setting with the same central elements. The main difference is in the depiction of figure sitting on the chair. Why in the bamboo stove it appears to be a Buddhist monk with tonsured head, in preparing tea it is depicted as a Taoist hermit with a bun on the top of his hair and long beard. Notably, the robe and the shoes and the identity any other particular of the two characters are identical. It is striking that the, in particular the bamboo stove on the marble and the stone table is really identical. We know that uh, the bamboo stove has a, a very strong association with the Buddhist monastery of uh, Mount Hui uh, in, uh, in Wuxi, and the attribution of the painting, the bamboo stove, to Tang Yi is quite reliable. And uh, considering also the fact that uh, Yu Zhang was not so assertive about the authenticity, authenticity of his painting, we might think that the painting uh, was probably uh, a reproduction or a, a modified version of the bamboo stove, whether an original work by Tang Yi or probably um, a work by some later imitator. Curiously, for what I know, this fact remained completely unnoticed in many, in most, in all modern studies on Chinese tea culture produced in China. Um, the preface of the Cha Shu Chuanji also reveals another important fact. Uh, that the actual compilation work was made not by Yu Zhen, but uh, uh, Xu Bo. Xu Bo was one of the literary celebrities of Hangzhou province, famous as a bibliophile, calligrapher, and poet. His elder brother, Xu Tong, was also a new poet and attained the provincial degree in, in 1588. Perfect. Xu Bo, Half sister was the stepmother of uh, Xu Zhaozhi, the author of one of the two prefaces of the Cha Shu Chenji we saw above. Xu Bo never took part in the examination to obtain a degree and remained a commoner to the end of his days. Nevertheless, he was highly respected by his contemporaries thanks to his literary and artistic accomplishment. In the course of his life, he frequently traveled and sojourned in the lower Yangtze region, maintaining close relations with many literary of that area. Xu and his brother, together with the Xie Zhaozhi and other four Fujian scholars, were known as the seventh master of the Jing An school of poetry. The member of this, this school developed the model advocated earlier by Su Zhao scholars of the early and middle Ming period, winning the literary circle of Fujian a kind of national reputation. Shippo also took part in the, of course, in the, in the um, compilation of the, the gazetteer produced by uh, Yu Zhang as an assistant edit editor. So as you can see from this graph, um, Xu Zhou knew personally many other tea experts and authors of essays and tea, such as Tu Long, Xu Ci Shu, Tu Ben Jun, Wen Long, Luo Ling, and Gu Da Dian. He also was a tea connoisseur and compiled two of the texts included in the second edition of the Cha Shu Chuanji. So the, the label in the green actually are 10 of the 14 Ming texts included in the Cha Shu Chuanji. So many of these texts were somehow connected directly to Xu Bo. We know that the Xu Bo, the Xu Bo owned a huge collection of books numbered to some 53,000 volumes and the catalog of his Family Library in the section Nung Pu lists 29 titles, titles of essays and tea, out of which 20 are the same included in the Eugenes Collectania. Considering all these elements, it is, prob it is probable that the most of the essays included by Yujen in the Cha Shu Chenji were in fact provided by Xu Po's own library, which he procured through his vast social network. In this light, it appears that the Yujen, that Yujen actually acted mainly as editor of this important work that, as I said, it is the first collectana of essays on tea ever produced in China. I finished. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm.
We thank Livio Zanini for his very detailed and scholarly presentation. And now I think I invite uh, Gaoshi Yang to come.